Hello, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, Sorry about that. Let's not dwell on it. I'm back, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make Louise's bunny ears from Bob's Burgers. They they do stand up. It it's a little easier than you would think. It's definitely easier than I thought it would be. Um, so. Yeah. As always, uh, you know, I, I like to make the pattern available for free on YouTube. I do ask that you like and subscribe if you like this video. The written pattern is always available on my website and on my Etsy. I think before I used to have the um, prices the same on my website and on my Etsy. I had to raise my Etsy prices because Etsy raised their fees. Which is so cute and nice. But yeah, if you would like to get it cheaper, check out my website. It is bethmakes.art. Again, bethmakes.art. That's my online shop. Uh, more of the money goes directly to me than with Etsy. Uh, I really, really, really super appreciate it. Right now I'm saving for a new computer. But anyway, yeah, if you could support me uh, on my website or on my Etsy, this pattern will be available today on my website, but not on my Etsy. I am participating in the Etsy strike. Um, it's a week-long uh, strike where sellers are putting their shops on vacation and buyers are encouraged to hold off on buying anything from Etsy for one week um, in retaliation to the fee increase despite, you know, record profits. So cute. We love that. I'll be back on the 18th on Etsy if you like paying more money for the same thing. Um, <laughs> if that's what you prefer, that's fine. Without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. For this project, you are going to need a 5.5 millimeter hook, the weight for a yarn of your choice. I used Big Twist Value in the shade Bubblegum. I used about 300 yards of this, so plan to use less than a standard skein. You will also need scissors and a darning needle. In this section, we'll be working in the round, so we're going to start off by single crocheting eight in a magic ring. In round two, we increase in each stitch, which means we single crochet twice in each stitch, totaling 16 single crochets for this round. In round three, we single crochet one and then increase, repeating this pattern eight times for a total of 24 stitches. In round four, we single crochet around. Take a second here to measure the diameter of your circle. It should be 6.5 centimeters. If it is not this size, uh, adjust your hook size or your tension accordingly so that your hat fits. In round five, we single crochet two and then increase, repeating this pattern eight times for a total of 32 single crochets in this round. In round six, we single crochet around. I think it's raining. In round seven, we single crochet three, then increase, repeating this eight times for a total of 40 stitches in this round. In round eight, we single crochet around.
In round 9, we single crochet 4, then increase, repeating this 8 times for a total of 48 stitches in this round. In round 10, we single crochet 5, then increase, repeating this 8 times for a total of 56 single crochets in this round. In round 11, we single crochet 6, then increase, repeating this 8 times for a total of 70 single crochets in this round. In rounds 12 through 20, we single crochet around, making sure to have 70 stitches in each round. This section will be worked in rows, and for row 21, we will single crochet 36. In row 22, we will chain 1, turn, and then single crochet back to our stitch marker for a total of 36 stitches. In rows 23 through 29, we are going to continue chaining 1, turning, and single crocheting 36 across. This is what your hat should look like now. Now we are working in rounds again, and for round 30, we are going to chain 20, which will create uh, the flap shape on the hat, and then single crochet in the second chain from hook, continuing down the side. Continuing round 30, we are going to single crochet across the front of the hat and up the other side. And to finish row 30, we are going to chain 20 again and then single crochet in the second chain from hook, continuing down the side and across the back of the hat. To start row 31, we are going to single crochet 3 together in the corner, and you do that by inserting your hook and pulling up a loop, inserting your hook into the next stitch and pulling up a loop, and then doing the same with the next stitch, and yarning over and pulling through all the loops. Next we single crochet up the side of the flap, and single crochet 3 into the top stitch, and then single crochet back down to the next corner. To continue round 31, we single crochet 3 together again in this corner, single crochet across the front of the hat, and single crochet 3 together in the next corner. To finish round 31, we are going to single crochet up the side of the flap, single crochet 3 in the top stitch of the flap, and then single crochet down the side, single crochet 3 together in the corner, and single crochet across the back.
to start round 32, we are going to single crochet three together in the corner, single crochet up the flap, and then single crochet two in each of the top three stitches for a total of six stitches, and then single crochet back down the side. When we reach the corner, we are going to single crochet three together, single crochet across the front of the hat, single crochet three together in the corner, and single crochet up the side of the other flap. To finish round 32, we are going to single crochet two in each of the top three stitches of the flap, just like we did on the other side. Single crochet down the side, single crochet three together in the corner, and then single crochet across the back. For round 33, we're going to repeat the previous round, so we're going to do the exact same thing as we did in round 32. And then for round 34, we are going to single crochet around the whole hat. Once we've done that, we'll slip stitch and then tie off. Okay, so I have yet to tie in my ends, um, but hat should look a bit like this. It's so cute. You could put like other kind of ears on top of here and it would look very cute. These, they always turn out a little wiggly for me. You can block them. Block them if you want. Generally I am pretty anti-blocking because I'm f***ing lazy. You should be able to block these and it'll turn out just fine. Um, but yeah, there's your, there's the like actual hat part. And now I make the ears. I totally forgot to film this part when I was supposed to, but to make the little strings on the flaps, you're just gonna attach your yarn at the bottom of the flap and chain 15, and then tie it off. The ears are made in the round, uh, they are just basically two big long tubes, so I'm going to write the pattern instructions on the screen here for you, rather than narrate everything, it's pretty simple, it's just a bunch of increases.
And then, of course, because I forgot to mention it, we are making two of these the exact same way. Okay, besties, I just have to explain myself for a second. Um, I don't know if you can tell my whole mouth is super shiny in this part of the video. I literally have Vaseline like all over my face because I, I changed skincare recently and it has made my face dry as hell. It's horrible. I don't know if you can see it. Yep, you can. I still have Vaseline all over my face <laughs> because my skin has just been horribly itchy and dry. I just, I needed to explain that because I felt weird about it. Okay, so I just realized that I did not record anything that I uh, just thought I filmed. But basically all I did was I took these ears before they were long tubes and folded them a little bit in the middle and I stitched them together so that they look like this and then I moved this stitch down into this corner so this like facing the garment this is the right um the right ear if that makes sense so this is the like inner corner you're gonna want both of the the tail to end at the inner corner of the ear after that if that makes sense because when we attach to our hat this is the front this is the back we're going to attach them on either side of this um, like beginning circle that we made and folding them not only gives them like a, a nice little like bunny ear shape um, it also is gonna provide some structure so it has like something to sit on and this will help it stand straight Start sewing it on now. Okay, so this is gonna go right into, or right next to, rather, that hole. The most important thing is that it matches up on either side. The way we sewed these shut, there's like a bit of a, an opening there on the corners of the ears um, because they're not secured together. So if you can separate these a little bit and sew them onto the hat, like opened up like this, um, it will also provide more like structure for it to sit on and the ears will sit up like they're supposed to. I'm just gonna speed you through here because honestly I am not the best at sewing so um, yeah this wasn't super pretty but uh, basically you just want them to be even on each side that's the most important thing there should be enough structure since it is a long tube it's like all doubled up we have a nice base for it to sit on it should do just fine um, Try it on often, and if you notice it flopping to one side, add extra stitches as needed for extra support. So you're going to want to make sure to tie that off nice and tight. I left the, um, the tail from the magic ring. Um, you can just tie those together and then weave in those ends. When you're done. So there's one ear on and then again you're just gonna put the other one on the other side and make sure it lines up nice. Yeah so I'm gonna do that and then I will be back. Um, I'm gonna weave in my ends also uh, and I'll be back. So there you have it. It's kind of hard to fit it all in frame. 
This is a pretty simple hat. Um, definitely possible to finish it within a day. Um, and I don't know. It's fairly simple, pretty straightforward. I would say this is beginner friendly. The the weirdest part can be like just putting the ears on, but I think that because they're like a tube and doubled up, um, they have a lot of structure to them. They want to stand up. You just need to help them a little bit, so. See it in my eyes how tired I am in that clip, so I'm not gonna make you watch anymore. It's very rambly and unnecessary, but yeah, if you're an adorable, lovable little menace like me and like Louise. I hope you make this hat. Please like and subscribe. It helps me so, so much. I'm really hoping to reach monetization on this channel in the next year, and I know I have a lot of work to get there, but um, if you could like and subscribe, that would help me a ton. If I if I need to clarify anything in this video, definitely let me know in the comments, um, but also if you have any requests or suggestions or crazy ideas for future projects i'm so down i have i have a lot of ideas i have a running list of things that i would like to bring to this channel so i'm very excited for those so again make sure to sorry about that noise again make sure to subscribe um if you would like to see those i'm keeping them very secret because i don't want anyone else to do them first i'm very greedy if you want the written written pattern you can visit my website, that's bethmakes.art. It will be available on my Etsy for a slightly higher price uh, next week after the Etsy strike, so that will be after the 18th of April. After then, it will be available on Etsy if that's where you prefer to go. Please reach out to me via email if you would like a commission. I will make you one of these hats. Um, just send me an email. Hello. To not get rambly like I did before, I am going to go. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and goodbye!